year-long project with the sixth grade at North Mobile County Middle School and our overriding topic concept for the year is that of watersheds. So the kids made their own bags out of a plastic mesh um, or a burlap and they started making the bags that they will be deploying on that living shoreline today. So we're trying to make the connection between the upland part of the watershed as it were for them and the lower part of the watershed down here. So, um, and we talked a little bit about human impacts on the water and that kind of stuff. They went to a coastal wetland, they went to a salt marsh. They got good and muddy, um, had a good time doing that, but they learned about the salt marsh habitat, the importance of uh, marshes in our area. They learned about some of the animals that live there. They sang, they caught critters with little nets. And although we have a small group of, with us today, overall about 120 kids have done this this year. And this is the second year of a two-year project. So after this, we'll finish up. They come down, they can visit their little living shoreline down here, um, but there's no monitoring of it that's going on on a permanent basis. Anytime you install anything on the submerged bottoms, um, in the state of Alabama, you will have to get a permit through the Corps of Engineers and also in the coastal area through the State Lands Division. In general, if low erosion is occurring, you would just basically use plants that are very similar to what you see next to your house. Some of the water is actually going to go into the core fiber matting and into the ground, so it's actually going to absorb some of that water. And then in higher tides, the water is actually going to go over the core fiber and into the marsh, and some of that sediment will will eventually go down into this marsh. Over about five to 10 years, this matting should eventually decompose and you'll just be left with marsh. So in theory, if everything worked correctly without major storm events, this, this will be very optimal at creating marsh over time. If you want more information, please uh, contact uh, Mississippi Alabama Sea Grant or go to the Mississippi Alabama Sea Grant website and look under Living Shorelines.